What's up guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'd like to install native script view locally so we can get apps running in the simulator and make use of other features that are not available in native script playground. So let's go into our console here and you have to install the native script CLI, which I've already done, but if you haven't, just do npm install minus g native script. So once that's installed, you should have this TNS command available to you. And the version I'm running is 4.01. And also make sure you have the view CLI installed. I'm still using version two. Um, hopefully this whole process is improved using the 3.0 version of the CLI. Okay, so to start, we're gonna do this view init command and it's using a view CLI template that has all the setup available for Webpack, view router, and I believe Vuex as well. Yes, yeah, so it has view single file components, Vuex and view router. Cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab that and let's run it. And I'm gonna name it native script view example. And I'm just go through this. Okay, let's cd into it. So native script view example. Let's do an npm install. Okay, that's done. And the next step is to do a TNS setup. And this is gonna install everything needed from Xcode to the Android Studio and all the Android build tools. So this can get quite long. And I've already done it in the past. So this might take longer for you. Sorry, I should have said yes for that. Okay, so that finished. And you can run TNS doctor to see if there's anything wrong with your installation. Okay, so everything looks like it's okay. But just note that when I first did this, I had a lot of issues. So I spent a lot of time just Googling for errors and solutions. So don't be discouraged if it doesn't work for you initially. And up to now, I still can get the Android simulator working. So we're going to have to use just the iOS simulator. And also from here, you can do a TNS update if you need to. I don't think I need to do that, but just note that that's one of the solutions that helped me. And if everything worked, hopefully this project will run on iOS. Okay, so that looked like it worked. So let's see if we tap it and yeah, it looks like it works cool. So let's go ahead and open a new tab and let's open up our code. So yeah, that did work, but I actually wanted the installation with Vuex and view router. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and reinstall it. So I'll be back after that. Okay, so I have the version with Vuex and the router working. And here's that same hello world component, but now we have other components and we have the router properly routing to them. So let's go ahead and make a new button here. And let's call it Reddit. And we're gonna port over that Reddit clone we made from that first video except now we're going to be making use of single file components and let's go into the router let's add a new one here so yeah right here let's copy this let's call it reddit and let's see how that looks let me save this too So yeah, one thing 
that I hope they improve upon is the speed of this after it reloads because as you can see it takes a while and sometimes it fails. Did that work? I have an error somewhere. Can't find variable reddit. Oh yes, I have to make a new component. So let me copy this. Reddit. Let me make a new one. Reddit.view. And from here, we can just copy what we have in our native script playground. So this is the screen with the image. So we'll do that later. So this is the one here. So this is our template. So let me just copy that and paste it in there. So template. Let me put the script in here too. Okay, so I'm going to paste that in. Let me get the data. Where's the data? It's right here. Let me just grab all this. I'm going to delete the countries because we don't need that. So data goes in there. Don't need the countries. Actually, don't need this too. Okay. What else? Yeah, I need the methods and the mounted hook. So these, just put it under here. Okay, let me save that. And then let me save the router too. See if that works. Okay, it's refreshing. Oops, another error, sorry. Should be Reddit. Okay. So does this work? Okay, so it does work. Awesome. So let's grab the other component that we made and let's put that in its own single file component. So let's make it first. So let's call it image, image page, image page dot view. And I'm going to grab the code template. template script and I'm going to paste that in and let me just grab the other stuff so the props and the methods let's paste that in save that let's go into our reddit view let's import that I'm just going to grab one of these imports and put it right here, up here actually. So import image page from the same folder. Page, okay. Now down here, yeah, we can do image page. And hopefully that works. And I have another error. Sorry, we don't need that. That's in the same folder. Let's try that again. Okay, so that looked like it worked. 
and we can scroll. Let's see if we click one and it works back works. Awesome. So let's go ahead and use Axios instead of this, uh, just to show that you can use NPM packages. So NPM install Axios. And while that's going, let me just grab this. And then I'm going to comment this out. And we'll use Axios. Actually, let me import it first. Import Axios from Axios. Oops, don't need the semicolon. And let's go ahead and use it. So Axios.get that and then grab the response and we can do this dot posts is response dot data dot data dot children hopefully that should still work Okay, Reddit, and yeah, now it works, but now we're using Axios instead of Fetch. And you can use any NPM package as long as it doesn't have any DOM manipulation because we can't use web components. So there you have it, guys. We've managed to set up a native script view locally on our machine so we can develop apps in the simulator and make use of other features like single file components and NPM packages. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.